One of the biggest problems with productivity apps is we're totally overcomplicating things. After testing literally hundreds of productivity apps over the years, I'm realizing that, in my opinion, the most effective productivity system is right on your iPhone and your Mac. But this is what's clever. Apple devices have been designed to work with each other. For example, I have my MacBook, iPhone, iPad, AirPods, Apple Watch, and they all work so seamlessly together in what we call the Apple ecosystem. But I think a lot of people don't realize that Apple apps work together in the same way. So Apple Notes, Reminders and Calendar all really cleverly work together to create a productivity system that it just works. So let me go through each one. This video is sponsored by Keeper Security. Apple Reminders, your task manager. What makes Reminders particularly useful is its balance of simplicity and functionality. So it handles both quick tasks and complex projects equally well. But the real power of Reminders comes from how it adapts to your life. So when you need to remember something location specific, it can trigger notifications right when you arrive or leave. For example, you can set it up so when you go to the gym, as you pull up to the parking lot, your workout plan for your day automatically pops up showing your exercises, your sets, your weights. Or if you're going grocery shopping, you rock up at the supermarket and you get a reminder with your grocery list. Smart lists are another feature that changed how I work. Instead of manually organizing tasks, I let reminders do their heavy lifting. For example, I have a smart list called High Priority Work that automatically collects any tasks tagged with work that has high priority. And this means that I can add tasks anywhere in the app and they'll automatically appear where I need them. The natural language processing in reminders is particularly impressive. So if you try saying, remind me to go swimming every Sunday at 6 p.m. or remind me about this email tomorrow morning, the app understands context and creates the reminder with all the right settings. It's like kind of like having a personal assistant who actually gets what you're saying. For collaboration, shared lists are pretty cool too. For example, you can share your grocery lists with your partner or a home maintenance list or a list for shared projects ideas so when either of you adds or completes an item it updates instantly for both of you and a practical tip that could change your workflow is using tags to create an effective what we call gtd getting things done system so you can use tags like at home or at computer or at errands to tag your tasks and this way when you're sitting at your computer you can quickly pull up all your at computer tasks across different projects it's very simple but incredibly effective for staying focused. Apple Notes, information management. When it comes to taking notes, Apple Notes represents simplicity at its finest. I've seen this pattern repeatedly. People start with Apple Notes, they get tempted by feature-rich apps like Notion, only to eventually circle back to Apple Notes. And I know this journey well because I've done it myself. The first thing that I like about Apple Notes is how easy everything is to find. For example, because Apple Notes is a native app, anywhere on my MacBook, I just press command plus space, type in anything I want to find, in this case, Squad app, and straight away, it finds the exact Apple Note that I want. Everything is searchable, the title, the note itself, and also text within a PDF. That's also one reason why I don't really use folders for my notes. I just have literally a big list of notes because everything is so searchable and that's how I find my notes. Apple Notes also has a scan feature where I can scan a PDF on my phone and it will scan that PDF into Apple Notes. And this feature is behind a paywall on a lot of other note-taking apps, but with Apple Notes, it is free because Apple Notes was created by Apple, of course, so all my notes are saved into iCloud so I can access my notes on my phone, on MacBook, my iPad mini, which is really very useful. Apple Notes really is about speed and efficiency. So when I want to take notes, I don't want to open Notion or big heavy app like Notion. I just want to get to my notes very quickly. And that's why I've set up a hotspot. When I move my cursor to the top left, you can see this small square come out. I click on that small square and, and then it opens up my notes straight away. And these are meeting notes that I took from a meeting earlier today. You can set up this hotspot by going to system settings, then desktop and dock scrolling down to the bottom to hot corners and you can set quick notes to open on either of the four corners. The synergy effects. The real value comes from how these three Apple apps 
complement each other. So when you start a new project, you can capture the details in notes, and from there, you can create linked reminders for specific tasks. You can add important deadlines to calendars and share relevant items with team members. It's a seamless flow that keeps everything connected. And because these three apps are native apps from Apple, they're somewhat safer because they directly integrate with iOS security features and regular updates align with system updates. And Apple has quite good security standards, relatively speaking. But what makes this whole productivity system even safer is the use of a password manager. So I started using a password manager more than eight years ago. And it's one of those things that once you start doing, you can never go back. I use Keeper Security. I've actually been using Keeper Security since January 2016, partly because Keeper is the industry's most thoroughly tested, certified, and audited password protection system worldwide. And thanks to the Keeper Security browser extension, logging in is as simple as clicking the yellow icon and I'm instantly logged in. It's incredibly convenient and more secure than manual password entry. And this is important. Your password should ideally be 15 characters or longer. Keeper Security makes this a breeze. You just click the big yellow button, create new, choose generate password, choose your desired password length, and you can either copy this password or save it into Keeper Security under a specific login. I do recommend you check out Keeper Security to step up your online protection with robust, unique passwords for all of your accounts. For my amazing viewers, I'm offering an exclusive 40% discount with the code MikeD, or you can try it for free for 30 days so you can get started today. I'll drop a link in the description below for you to check them out. Daily workflow. Your day becomes more manageable when you develop a rhythm with these apps. So in the morning, you can start with a quick review of your calendar schedule. You can check today's reminders and scan your important notes. And throughout the day, you can even use Siri to add new reminders as they come up. And you can capture ideas in notes and keep an eye on your calendar for upcoming commitments. And then you can end your day by reviewing completed tasks, updating project notes, and planning for tomorrow. Speaking of Siri integrations, it is worth mentioning how it ties everything Thing together. So you can say things like add a note about podcast ideas or show me my reminders due today or when's my next meeting. And Siri understands the context and works with all of these three apps seamlessly. I found that the key to making the system work is kind of regularly reviewing it and refining it. So every week I spend probably no more than five minutes cleaning up my notes, updating task priorities and adjusting my calendar as needed. And this small investment of time, less than five minutes, keeps everything running smoothly and prevents things from kind of falling through the cracks. What makes this system effective isn't complex features, it's the practical integration of basic tools that work reliably together. It's about having what you need where you need it without the complexity of managing multiple apps and systems. So if you like this video, I made another video recently right here on my favorite note-taking apps. You can click on the card on screen to watch that or watch this video where I go through my Apple ecosystem and do check out this video sponsor Keeper Security, link in the description below.